welcome to another video. I've got a special treat for you today from the Budget Equestrian. Lisa Goodwin has sent me in a video and we are collaborating on this video together. Thank you Lisa from the Budget Equestrian. And if you're not already, go to the Budget Equestrian on YouTube and subscribe to her channel. Take it away Lisa. Well hello there, my name is Lisa and I am the Budget Equestrian. And I thought it would be fun to pick Laura's brain, not literally, but pick her brain on her thoughts of me getting my horse, Ethan, ready to go to a horse show. Ethan is an 11 year old thoroughbred gelding that I've had for about three years now, almost three years officially. And next summer, I really wanna take him to a show. So I'm gonna get him dolled up and get him all pretty and presentable to go to a horse show. Now this is just for pretend and it's just a test run, but I thought it would be really fun to exploit Laura's experience and find out what I'm missing, what I'm lacking in, what I can do better, and what I'm doing okay. So with that, let's go and get Ethan ready for a horse show. So you can see from this video that she is just taking the horse out of the pasture and it's got hay all over it. So there's a before and an after picture and we can see what Lisa's doing with her horse. So stay tuned. If you'd like to improve your riding and training, win more ribbons at your next horse show and develop that relationship with your horse so you can win more ribbons at your next horse show. Or if you generally like other horsey related stuff, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos coming out. So as you can see in this video Lisa is taking her horse right out of the paddock and she like this is not a made up thing where everything is done and she's just putting stuff out. You get to see her horse it's just coming in from the outdoor turnout where where she is and she does a full grooming and you can see the horse that Ethan he is she said a thoroughbred and you can see that he is in beautiful condition he's um, looks like he's in good weight his coat is really nice and shiny and looks like he's been eating pretty well she's spraying I think it might be fly spray or something or maybe it's some sort of show sheen type of stuff and she's doing curing and when she's curing, you can see the dust coming out there. Oh, he's really dusty and dirty. I guess that's from the sand where he's turned out. Some horses like it a lot. Some horses don't like it, so you have to uh, have to be careful with that. Oh, you can see the hair too. It's that time of year where the horses are shedding out to make way for the winter coat. Geez, really, look at the hair coming off him. Looks good. So that curing just brings all the dirt to the surface so that you can brush it away. It also stimulates the skin. Looks good. Looks like he's got a scar there or something. Once you do that, she's got the body brush. Doing a nice body brush there. Something, yeah. Has a wipe. Wiping your horse's face. And look at that. Oh, he kind of likes that, doesn't he? Poor baby. Looks like she's cut the horse's mane with scissors. So we like to have the horse's mane pulled. Pulling a horse's mane makes it easier for it to braid. And I kind of cheat on that pulling the horse's mane. Instead of pulling the hair out, I just cut the hair. So I push the, if you pull the horse's mane, you know you slide the horse's hair up, wrap the hair around and pull it out. Instead of wrapping the hair around and pulling it out, I just clip it. So she's doing a little bridal path there. Very nice. Always good to have a nice neat place to put the bridle. Not too long. Just enough there. And now she's brushing the horse's tail. When brushing your horse's tail you have to be careful that you don't break the hair. She's being very gentle. And another way to brush the horse's tail is to hold it off to the side like that and just one hair at a time separate the hairs out 
rather than getting the whole horse's tail. And here she is uh, braiding the horse's tail. Starting at the top. Good way to practice. And she does it with the braid on the top, which looks really nice. So you can see the braided tail here. It looks very nice. Great job, Lisa. But if I was going to a horse show off the property, I would hire somebody to braid my horse's tail. You've got some really good, good parts here near the bottom, but there's some twisted or missed braids. And I bet you it's going to be loose and falling out before you get to the before you get to the horse show. I would wait until after I do the mane to do the tail. The tail should be the last one to do. Done. Now she's starting the mane. Brushing the mane out is great. I would probably personally want to have it a little shorter and a thinner. When you cut the mane like that it makes it blunt at the bottom and it makes it tough. No, he doesn't like but he's a thoroughbred and yeah. I think when you're doing your mane, you want it just the width of your hand. That looks a little bit longer than what I would like to have because she's got to turn it under twice. Also, when you're braiding, uh, rather than just separating with your fingers, use a comb so that there's a definite part. And again, if you're going in there, it's a horse show at your own stable or a training show at your own stable, then that's great. But going off property, I would hire somebody. Hoof oil, love the look of hoof oil. And this is great. But again, just before you go into the show ring, put a ring of hoof oil over top of the horse's hoof just before you step into the ring. Then you know it's going to be on there because the first couple steps that the horse does is going to get sand and debris on it. it doesn't look very nice. So make sure it's done just before you step into the ring. Love the saddle pad. Nice and clean. Yeah, it's a good boy. And there he is, all ready to go. So here's my comments on this. Love the way he looks. He looks in great shape. Beautiful shiny coat. Love how you groomed him and brought the shine out with this coat. Also include in your grooming routine after you brushed is and before you head step into the ring, get a stable rubber or a dishcloth and wipe the dirt down before you step into the ring. Also your boots and put the rim of hoof oil on your horse's hoof just before you step into the ring. The other things that I would make sure you do is when you put the saddle pad on, have an even two inch or even placement of the saddle pad all around your saddle. You can see that at the front there's a little bit more than the back. Push the saddle pad up into the gullet, into the channel of the saddle so that the air can get down and around the horse's spine. Also to complete the picture, you did a great job trimming his bridle path so just I would trim or just even with scissors cut the fetlocks cut the hair off his fetlocks just a little bit too okay so when you look at this bridle the thing that I noticed right away and I noticed it on the thumbnail picture is that the nose band is too low we would like to have the nose band about this far a below the protruding cheekbone on the horse's face. Right now it's too low and when you, if you look at it right there, you can see that when you would use your reins there's a chance that the bit may pinch the lip. The lips of the horse, the corner of the horse's mouth, the lips of the horse may get pinched between the bit and the nose band. So raise your nose band up so just below the protruding cheekbone, the cheekbone on the side of the horse's face, so that there's no way that there could be any pinching. It also helps to show your horse's face off a little nicer and do the nose bend up so that it doesn't flop when the horse chews. So you should be enough that you can get one finger underneath the nose bend up at the front and that will help make the picture a little cleaner so that it's not flopping up and down when you're trotting and cantering in the ring.
lovely, lovely bridle. Here's a great picture. You can see that he's it's really lovely. Lovely bridle. Just got to raise that nose band up. I'm going to put the saddle pad up into the thing. Oh, love the stirrups. I'd like to know how many people use those stirrups. I see they're quite popular now. And you can see the tail before she even gets into the ring. The tail has already started to come out. There's before. <laughs> and there's after. Here's a great picture of that bridle. You can see. Okay, I'm not going to lie. That was a lot of work. I had no idea how much work it would be to braid his mane, braid his tail, and just make him look the best that I possibly could using what I have at home. I didn't go out and buy anything. This was just stuff that I had at home and I figured let's give it a go and see how presentable I can make Ethan for a show ring. Now granted, he'll be in better shape next year, but I think it's really fun to test things out, really like a dress rehearsal and see what happens. You never know if you don't try, right? And Laura, thank you so much for the collaboration. This is gonna be really fun. Hopefully it goes really well. And hopefully people will see how much work it is in getting a horse ready for a show. So for Laura's audience and Laura, bye. Great job though. Thank you so much, Lisa. I really appreciate it. And send us another video of when you do get to the horse show ring and then I'd like to know how your horse looks when you go into the horse show ring next year when you go to the horse show. Thank you Lisa and Lisa really it does take a lot of work it does take a lot of time and a lot of work to get your horse ready for the horse show. Maybe you could think about giving him a bath. Never even thought of that so this is another thing that you could include in your show routine is giving him a bath so that you have that beautiful shiny coat all the way throughout so thank you Lisa now go use this stuff go hug your horse go use this stuff my name is Laura and hey do you have a before and after picture of your horse I'd love to see it send me an email thistleridge at hotmail.com thanks now bye